Later this year, shareholders of the diversified group agreed to unbundle the quick service restaurants, creating Simbisa Brands, the only listed fast food chain outside South Africa. Simbisa has its footprint in 11 African countries, operating 388 outlets. Its listing, the first in the ZSE's automated trading era, comes as a timely shot in the arm for an economy that has had little to cheer. We need confidence in the economy. We see confidence in the economy from what Simbisa has just done, which is INSCO. We are seeing that the economy is on the move. We are excited from where I sit. The Zimbabwe Stock Exchange has been likened to a bloodbath in recent months following persistent erosion of value due to a prevailing liquidity shortage and contracting economy. Turnover for October was $12.8 million, its lowest in six years. The number of counters has dropped from a peak of 78 to 65, with four of those under suspension. Automated trading was introduced in July this year, and there are other measures being pursued to make the BAUS more accessible. I'm confident from the developments that have taken here, I mean, place here at the exchange and even at the CSD, that we are trying to make trading on this market much easier. We're also campaigning the government to also uh, f from their, play their part uh, to see a reduction in the overall trading cost on the market. If that happens, it could trigger much needed activity, especially if other companies follow Simbisa to the market. And so how did the new kid on the block fare? Pretty good according to the statistics at hand. It opened at a price of 12 cents per share, closed the day at 14.32 cents. A total of 4,491,994 shares changed hands at a value of $643,253. That's 88.76% of all shares traded on the stock exchange today. A worthy performance for a company that is the new toast of the town. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.